An album that speaks about freedom, about freedom of women, about freedom um, of soul in general. It, it has a lot of, it's a very profound record as far as the lyrics go, as far as the music goes. And it's also very, uh, sometimes playful and very fun. And overall it, it has been um, the, the best artistic experience I've had. Reconocer for me has been a theme throughout the album. Uh, Pamela mentioned at the very beginning that it, it's the working title. She uh, told me a little bit about what it means for her and the reflective nature um, of the album. So I've kept that in mind uh, while we've recorded all the songs and tried to just think, think about how this music is really reflecting um, emotions and feelings and thoughts and, and a lot of the things that you can't even put into words but music somehow can describe. There's a lot of great music obviously coming out of South America and Latin America um, and she had been nominated for a Latin Grammy for her previous project with, which I think was a little more traditional kind of Peruvian influence and this is more like taking all of that great stuff that she has from that tradition and, and fusing it with this electronic and New York indie rock thing. And I, my feelings is probably gonna be a very unique and uh, fresh sounding record. I think it changed a lot through the course. Originally it was like all like electronic. Um, and then we kinda, we kinda got back more to like what we had talked about originally, which is a very like simple and organic acoustic sound. And I think now we're kinda gonna blend the two of those together. He has a vision for a lot of these tunes of, you know, like all these other parts that are going to be happening, different layers of stuff, and we're not necessarily hearing that yet. So learning to sort of leave a lot of space in the parts that we're building, kind of interact with Dave, knowing that he has a vision of this other stuff and kind of trying to get inside that and imagine that so we can kind of put these parts together. So a lot of the time we've been playing these tunes um, almost the way you'd make like a, you know, a film where there's going to be like a lot of CGI's later or animation or something. You don't necessarily know when you're acting in the scene, there's a blue screen behind you, you know, what everything's going to look like. We worked in a very, uh, very contemporary way because since Dave is in Brooklyn and I, well, I'm going all over the place. Sometimes I'm in, in Peru, sometimes I'm in Venezuela, sometimes in Spain. Uh, we have been working through the internet. I first started recording some some small tracks on, on my own computer and I started making a, a little mess on Pro Tools and, and then I would send him my tracks and he would uh, begin uh, putting the arrangements until we came to find this very unique and special uh, sound for Peruvian uh, indie pop alternative whatever music. Cuando tu sangre como un río sin piedras que The one thing I, I did notice was the chemistry that, you know, the band has, Pamela and uh, Dave and, and Ryan, but the chemistry is something that I think that was really unique about the session. And it just made the music, you could hear it in the music pretty much. Just the fact that they've known each other for so long, 
um, and it pretty much manifests in their love for the music. I think that comes across. People should buy this record because uh, it's just going to be a beautiful, very unique, heart and soul filled record. I think one that we all believe a lot in.